Okay, you guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to do the offset and the offset shadow in Cricut Design Space. I'm using my laptop. I am using a MacBook Pro, if that matters. If it looks a little different than like a regular desktop, HP, or whatever, I'm using a MacBook Pro. I don't know if that matters. Probably not, but yeah. But pretty much, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. This right here, I did in Design Space right here. As you can see, what I'm talking about is... This is the regular text, and I use, in case anyone is wondering, I use Autumn in November, and you can find that on thefont.com. If you guys like a video on how to install fonts to your computer, I could do that as well for you. Just let me know. I'm willing to teach everybody the basics of stuff, because I love helping people out. So that's why that's here, and I basically just move them together letter space in and I unwelded them and moved them together to get this up here and then I just changed the color to red just so something could be vibrant for you guys to see so now we're going to delete that because we don't need it and basically this is right here we're showing you guys what we're going to be making today so I went from this with just this layer to this to having the offset shadow okay so we don't need this anymore so we could delete that as well Okay, so what you are going to do is you are going to duplicate this layer. I find that I usually need about 10 layers, so we'll go and we will do that. First, I am going to backspace and I'm going to change this to black because we want the background to be black. And now we're going to go and just duplicate it about 10 times. You might not need it that many times, but you never know. And then the top layer we're going to take, we're going to move it to the bottom. We're going to change that to red. That's going to be our top layer. And then we're going to hide it. And now we're going to take all these layers, move them down a little bit so they're out the way. And then we're going to grab one. And we're going to place it. And then we're going to take our red layer. And we're going to bring that up so we could see how to make the offset. So, we're going to do that. And as you can see, the um, black layer behind it is just a little off. And then we're going to take the next black layer, layer and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to take it and move it a little bit off. Just like that. And then you're going to take the next one and do the same thing. And you're just going to keep moving it. Um, and what I like to do is I like to look at my ends here. See how the ends are round? You want to keep them round. You want to keep all your curves here round. So I kind of just try to align them up with that so I get a perfect round. Because see, if I put it like this, if I put it like this, there's going to be a gap up here around the L and a gap here like around the E. And then there's a big gap here. So I like to just, oh, boop, now I got to find the layer. If you hit control, on my MacBook, if I hit control Z, it backspaces. So there we go. That's a little tip for you. So we're going to take this, like I said, just move them a little bit up from one another. And if you do have some gaps, we can fix that at the end. As you can see, my E over here is not perfect. And then we're going to do the same thing. Just keep doing it. And moving it around. Till you get like an offset around your whole letter. And then I'm going to do one. We need one for the bottom. Because the bottom doesn't have anything. So we're going to go put it on the bottom like so and i'm going to make sure it's kind of aligned over here so now we're going to need another bottom and we're going to fill it in over here and now we have the basic outline of what we want how thick we want it and now what we're going to do we're going to go in and we're going to fill in all these gaps as you can see there's a little gap here it's a little uneven here the r here um, especially the ends over here, as you can see the E and the beginning of the C here, there's a big, like, 
it's not even. It doesn't look good. So we're going to go, and that's what we're going to do now. Um, first, I'm going to try to get it as smooth as possible for the humps and stuff on the top of the L. Control Z, you guys, backspace, if you move something. And now we have that. And now we're basically going to just go in and duplicate a few more stuff. And now I'm just kind of focusing on the E at the end here. If you guys want me to zoom in just to kind of get it super smooth. We don't really need the red part anymore. Okay, right now we're just focusing on smoothing everything out. We basically have the basic outline. So I'm just duplicating and moving it to make the N over here. If you can see what I'm doing, make this as smooth and not as bumpy as I can. So you want to be perfectly around so it looks good. And probably one more will do it. Um, I could probably move that one. So, like that. You might not get it perfect, but get it as perfect as you want to get it. Now, as you can see, we could probably do a little bit over here with the E. Just make it a little smoother. And then we're gonna duplicate it again. Come over here and just fill in the little gap. And I could probably fill one more in right there. So as you can see, it is time consuming. Like I said, it's not as easy as using an app and just doing it. But then you wanna go through, see if you have any other spots Maybe me, I personally will fill this in. I'm a perfectionist, but you don't have to. The little E here. Just like that. And go back, check over here, make sure that's all even. That's still even. Um, yeah, so it looks good to me. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go and find your top layer, which is the red layer. layer and you're going to make it visible again. And you're going to right click it. And you're going to go to center front. And that way we could see it. And now we are going to zoom out. So we can see the whole thing. And that's basically you have your shadow now. So what we're going to do now, once you like it, everything's good for you. You're going to hide the red layer again. And you are going to select all of this. And then you're going to go down here and you're going to hit weld. What that's going to do is that's going to make it one piece. So if I do this, as you can see, it all moves because it's just one solid piece now. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to unhide my red layer again, and I'm going to go and send it to the front. And then I'm going to place it where I want. And now you pretty much have your offset, your shadow, your drop shadow, whatever you want to call it. You have that and you made it right in design space. Like I said, it's a little bit more time consuming, but you can do it. And once you do it a couple of times, it becomes super quick. I could probably do this in like not even of like one or two minutes. I could do that. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see more ways of how to do this, I I personally could do it in Photoshop because I have Photoshop, and I've been using Photoshop since for like over ten years. Um, but if you guys want me to show you guys how to do it on a free app on your phone, I can show you guys how to do that too. That is super easy. It's quicker than this process, honestly. Um, but let me know. But I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button. But here I'm just showing you guys real quick. See how it's in two layers. So you'll print this whatever color you want. And then you'll print this one as whatever color you want as well. And you're all set. But again, thank you. Hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more little tips and tricks. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye now.